Sir, I am very depressed. Things are not going as I planned. Sometimes, I try to drink to forget my worries, but the worries comes back after drinking. Sometimes the alcohol doesn't even take away the worry. My son, I understand you well. The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. What it means is that when your expectations are delayed it makes you sad. So I understand you. But don't worry, I would be showing you from God's word how to handle this issue. I would be very glad if you can do this, because this issue is bothering me so much. Okay, whenever you are depressed, it is very important to ask yourself the source of this depression. That is to say, why are you depressed? Thank God you know why you are depressed. Yes sir. I am depressed because my business is not working. And it was God that led me to start this business. I have invested a lot of time into this business. So it's just got me very depressed. Okay, now since we know why you are depressed. The next thing you need to do, is to find out what God's words say about this your situation. How do I do that sir? Very good question. One of the ways you can do that is to check the Bible if there is anyone that experienced something similar to yours. A very good example would be Joseph. God told him through a dream that he was going to be great. After God told him that, he was sold as a slave to a foreign country. As if that was not enough, he was thrown into prison and remained there for many years. Now this experience is very discouraging and could even cause depression because Joseph did nothing wrong. In fact he was thrown into prison because of his fear of God. Have you ever asked yourself how Joseph coped through all of these bad experiences? No sir, I have never thought of that. The only way Joseph coped through all of his bad experiences was by choosing to trust in the word of God. He held God's word and believed it firmly. Though there was literally not hope for him physically to become what God said, but he still chose to trust God rather than be depressed. And eventually, God didn't let him down. This is very deep sir. I never saw it this way. Yes, so instead of you getting discouraged, encourage yourself with the scriptures and with what God has told you. It is natural to feel sad when things like this happens, but you must choose not to act like a carnal man, but like a spiritual man. Take out time to fight this depression by meditating on the word of God. So sir, you mean depression can be fought? Yes. Depression happens in your mind. But you can choose to make it not to stay on your heart. And the only way you can do that is to take out time to meditate on what God's word says regarding your situation. After spending a very long time meditating on God's word, then the next step to take is to act on your meditation. During meditation, you might even discover why things are not working in your life and when you make corrections you would have no reason to be depressed. Also during meditation, you might find out that God wants you to be patient and trust Him just like Joseph did. So you mean meditation on God's Word can cure depression? Exactly. When you meditate on the Word of God regarding the issue you are facing, light comes to you. Remember the Bible says, the Word of God is a lamp to our feet. So meditating on God's Word brings clarity, and when there is clarity, depression would disappear. Oh my God, what a blessing it is to know you. This teaching is an eye-opener. Thank you so much. I would do well to put these things into practice.